Hey everyone, we're here at SAP for Utilities and I have with me Stefan Wolf from SAP. Stefan, you gave a talk yesterday uh, where you were talking about uh, the use of HANA for utilities. Can you give me a little synopsis of that talk? Absolutely. Thank you, Tom, for giving me this opportunity. I think utilities these days are challenged by a lot of different requirements. Um, there is a lot of data coming through new channels like smart metering, smart grid, social networks. The pressure from the regulators, the pressure from the public to get more information in real time, whether it's in a storm situation or just about my, my current bill, is mounting. So they need the possibility to answer these in real time and manage the data. And we have customers who are actually doing this today with SAP tools. For example, one utility is using the SAP HANA solution to improve their, their business process for energy settlement. And they have achieved an improvement of 100 times faster by moving certain steps of the process outside to a HANA box, including the, the, the replication of the data. So by just using HANA, they are now able to manage even when all their customers have smart meters and still running the settlement process in the, in the allowable time frame. Other customers have, for example, used HANA to optimize their collection process by building a, a data mart in HANA to collect the information about the customers, the financial information, the surrounding information about that customer, to now be much more on time and on top of the information and do the collection way more efficiently than before with a manual error-prone process. Uh, and is there any customer-facing uh, technologies using HANA? Yeah, absolutely. So one example is a utility is using HANA to support their online portal, where they allow the customers to do build simulations, um, and they draw their uh, smart meter data from the backend system, from the legacy system, into HANA, and then run into HANA their, their billing algorithm. And within less than four seconds of the overall process of getting the data and billing the data, the customer sees their simulated bill on the online portal. So it's virtually in real time. Wow, impressive. Uh, Stefan, I've heard that there are data compression technologies in HANA as well, which reduce the size of the database. How does this work? Absolutely. So we have one example where a customer was using their uh, business warehouse as a, a, a test case basically for, for moving into HANA and they had over 20 terabytes of data in the actual business warehouse and they moved it into HANA and ended up with less than 700 gigabytes. That was possible by not needing quite a bit of the data which a business warehouse typically needs because of the, the time it takes to load the data from the source system, so they have staging areas and so forth, and you have the aggregation areas in business warehouse because it takes time to build those cubes. All of that is not necessary in HANA. So you start with much less data to begin with. And then in addition, you have the compression, fa compression factor HANA allows, which is typically between 4.0 and 5.0 to 1. So that reduces it so significantly from over 20 terabytes down to 700 gigabytes. So of course that makes it even faster again to analyze the data. Exactly. So now you have less data to store, which you can analyze faster, and you have it in memory, which again then improves the time. So between our previous in-memory technology business warehouse uh, accelerator, which was also based on in-memory, but specifically only for, for BW available, and now HANA, we see even there an improvement of over five times of the reporting time, and we see even a 50 percent, 50 uh, effect of 50 increase of the performance compared to conventional business warehouse means. Wow, impressive, Stefan. That's been great. Thanks very much.